Hello there, today I've come out to this beautiful wheat field, this is just turning orange on top now. Um, we have got a beautiful cloudy day and I just want to talk you through my logic with compositions and looking for leading lines and as you can just probably see on here we have some beautiful tractor lines leading straight up towards the tree, looks absolutely beautiful. Join me in a moment and We'll get set up and we'll try and find a few little compositions to incorporate these tractor lines with a tree and the beautiful moody sky. It's cloudy, it was quite bright this morning, it's cloudy over now, so I'm hoping we may have to bracket the shots. It looks like there's rain in the distance coming over, so it may well be a short video. But I'm probably going to bracket the shots just to get that detail in the sky. So yep. Yeah. I'll talk you through what I'm doing in a minute. Just get set up and I've got to find Betsy. Betsy's just legged it through all this wheat. Um, she loves places like this. Even though she's ill, she loves places like this. Because she knows there's pheasant in here somewhere and she is off trying to find them. So I'll get my dog first, get a composition, and I'll catch you in a minute. So I don't know if you can see her, she's coming back towards me now, I've just caught her, she's literally gone all the way around the edge of the field and now just coming back. There you go, let's see. So gimbal's just packed up on me, um, don't know what's going on with that, don't know if it's flat or what. So looks like I'll end old in the GoPro. Um, yeah, Betsy is having a great time. She's now just legged it off again. Um, I'm going to leave her. She won't go too far because she does get tired now. But let me show you the back of the camera. Ah, here's Betsy. Let me turn you around. Betsy, come here. Betsy. <laughs> Don't think you see her head popping up. Here it is. Bless her. Let me show you the back of the camera. And I'll talk you through this first composition that I've got. And I am just trying to incorporate the tractor lines into the image as a leading line coming straight up. The thing I like here, let me just step back a bit. And we have got, we want a bit of a bend coming in. And I do like this. Last year there was an actual triangle shape here and it looked fantastic. But today we've got just these two lines coming in and round and up to the tree so yeah let me just show you the back of the camera and I'll talk you through the thinking with this shot so my thinking is I'm loving the lines coming in and this one coming up here as well leading straight up towards the tree I'm just to the left of the tree but this is a leading line going up to it I probably I'm going to underexpose the shot a little bit let me just brighten it up so you can see everything and what I might do is just underexpose a third of a stop just to bring the darkness out in the tractor lines and to get detail in that cloud. It looks beautiful, it does. The wheat is just blowing about just a little bit. There's a bit of a breeze, it's not much. So I think I am going to focus stack. And because we've got wheat right underneath the camera there, I'll probably focus there and then just focus on the tree. And it should look pretty good. If this does turn out any good, I'll put on for you now. Drop me a comment and let me know your thoughts while I move about and see if it looks better looking straight up the two tractor lines rather than on this bit of an angle. Let me know your thoughts. what did you think of that shot? I've now just moved over to my left a couple of feet 
and I'm now going to try just to look straight up the tractor lines and see how this looks. The horizon, although it does look quite flat, it is running off. It's eye on the, as you're looking over that way, on your right, and it drops downhill to the left. And on the camera, it looks like the, the image isn't level. I've just checked the built-in spirit level in the camera, and the image is level, but it does look, the horizon does look off, so. I will leave it like this and again drop me a comment on this image if you'd level it to level the horizon up or if you just leave the slight slope even though it does look like the camera isn't level even though it is would you leave it or would you level it up in post in photoshop or something drop me a comment i'll drop the photo on now for you to have a look at and tell me your thoughts What did you think of that shot? Um, I have just lifted the, the, the tripod up and the lines, these lines do look fantastic. It's a shame that the lines don't lead straight to the tree but I don't mind because I'm leading close enough to it in the distance. It does look beautiful, absolutely beautiful here. What a fantastic place this is. Um, I am tempted to do a low down shot so I've got a really massive foreground with this wheat. I'm also tempted to get right in and on top of the wheat as well. So what would you do? Would you get right on top of the wheat and I'm gonna have to try it I think. I have got room down here where the tractors have squashed it, so I'm not gonna be damaging any crop at all. So I can actually do it. With no damage other than what the tractor's already done. I do hate when people damage crops just for a photograph. I don't do it. I will stay to the edge. As you can see, I'm, I'm on here. More tractor tracks. If I turn you around here, they come up here. Um, yeah. Beautiful though. It looks like a good crop of wheat this year. Let me move up and I'll. See if I can show you the shot, what I'm going to think of next. So for this next shot, I've decided to lift the camera right up and I've put the two tracks bang into the centre of the frame there with a tree just slightly over towards the left-hand rule of thirds. Um, again, it's going to be a big focus stack from down here, probably there and then on the tree. Three, three shots I should probably get this. Um, just beautiful. I love these wheat fields. They look so nice. It's a shame there isn't a little tiny bit of sun just coming through, just to light the tops up. It would look fantastic then. The sky looks absolutely beautiful. I love these dark, moody skies. Give me this to blue skies and fluffy clouds any day. This looks just fantastic. I, I do love a dark, moody sky. I am now trying to think, well I am actually going to do it while I'm here. I'm going to move round and photograph this one line coming up on the left hand side of the two. And that will be my next shot. Um, I'll put this one and the next one on. Tell me whether you, you prefer in the middle of the two lines like I am now. Show you the camera. Or whether you prefer it looking at one line. Drop me a comment and let me know your thoughts on that. I'm, I'm unsure to be honest. I don't know. I can't make my mind up which I like. That's why I'm going to take both. And you can decide. I'll let you all decide. I think they'll both be lovely to be honest. So yeah, drop me a comment below. Take a look.
So, as you can see on the image, I did try the um, left-hand tractor track first, and it just didn't look right at all. So I jumped over to the right-hand one, and we've got this coming up in the right-hand rule of thirds, straight up. The left-hand one looks like it's coming in at an angle from the right, both leading up to the tree, and I think this one does look better than in that track there. It's amazing what just a metre difference will do to your image. Um, the biggest tip I can give you is move about, trying to get your composition, move up, move down, try loads and loads of different things. You will make a big difference and you will be get, be, you, you will help you get a better photographer because you will start searching naturally for different angles and different compositions rather than just set a camera up and just get a shot it does pay to actually look around and do something different yeah so what did you think anyway both look good i can't make my mind up what i, what I fancy i really don't I don't mind either of them just beautiful Well, the breeze is picking up, so I'm presuming there could be rain coming shortly. Um, I'm trying to look which way the clouds go. I think the cloud is coming towards me. Very, very slowly. I think it is, you know, I think it is coming this way. Um, the big dark cloud that was over there, looked like there was rain coming out of it, has dissipated a bit, but you can still see there is rain there in the distance so at least it's holding off and it's slow moving today so it's given me a bit more time just to uh, get a couple of photographs in this field I do love it, it looks beautiful yeah I'm going to have a little walk around and see if we can find just something something else it all looks amazing there are more tractor tracks, just up here a little bit more. And I'm going to try now and just have a quick little look and see what it looks like here. I do think that this line is a bit too far away from the tree to use as a leading line going up towards it. So I'll have a walk down the other way. There's another tractor track going up the other way. It does look pretty close to the tree as well, to be honest. So we may be able to get something there. I can't believe there's dog shit absolutely everywhere along here. Why don't people pick up after the dogs? God above. I hate them. I hate them. Uh, looks like those tracks are about the same kind of distance away actually I'm thinking now an eye up shot from here maybe you can just see the two lines going in what do you think? I think that might make a shot I'm not sure myself I think I will bring the camera down here and have a quick little look because there are lines each side of the tree so maybe we can get something. Let's bring the camera down and have a look. If it's any good, I will show you in a minute the back of the camera. And let's see what it looks like. Beautiful day though, absolutely beautiful. I'm in heaven. So, I don't know if it's doing it for me. I'm going to show you the back of the camera. And I will take the image while I'm here. But really... I don't think it is doing it for me. I really don't. So, we just had a look as an horizontal and as a vertical. And I think, if anything, it does look better as a vertical with a big foreground looking all the way through this this wheat field. Um, yeah, the wind is definitely picking up now. Everything's moving. So I may even have to uh, just up the ISO a little bit. I think just to compensate. Let me show you the back of the camera and I'll talk you through the shot. But I can't make your mind up. 
you can't really see the loins as leading loins you can see them in the image but they're more like a frame for the tree rather than a leading loin coming up to it we have got loins in the wheat they look quite good to be honest I do think I need to be right where I'm standing now so let's just bodge this over a fraction yeah let me show the back of the camera and let's see what this looks like so for this image I am just going to put the tree bang in the centre of the frame we have got some loins in the wheat down here leading up as leading loins you can see the two sets of loins there and there that frame where the tree is so still looks pretty nice I'm going to take the shot I'm going to do a focus stack down here there bottom of the tree I'll drop this on at the end of the video because it's not really doing it for me so I'll, I'll share it a bit later and yeah there are definite loins coming through the wheat though as leading loins so I think I'm going to just use that instead so yeah I'm not sure well I can feel rain now so I'm going to give it neck um, I've had a beautiful half an hour out here it's really nice dead warm even though it's cloudy and this is quite cool by summer standards we are middle of July well beginning of July and you would expect it to be a lot warmer than this but it's okay I'm quite comfortable in a t-shirt please check out the description below there's links to all my social media and everything if you want to add me on social media Facebook Instagram TikTok there's links down below right at the bottom of the page um, please feel free add me on social media um, I'll drop all the photos on for you now subscribe we can do it all again next week and until then enjoy the images drop me a comment and let me know your thoughts on these images the different shots I've took and yeah take it easy and I'll catch you on the next adventure out with Betty somewhere having fun <laughs>